Network marketing is a business model that depends on person-to-person -person sales by independent representatives, often working from home, if you like. Now, this type of marketing is also known as multi-level marketing. Basically, a company is expected to move its products and services from its base to its customers. Currently, it is the fastest growing method of distribution in the world. All right, let's get more insights about this uh, with a network marketing professional, Lamia Momo. Thank you very much for joining us, Lamia. Good, good to see you. Good, good morning. You. Thank you very much for having me. Well, um, well, I'm we're almost in the middle of it, yeah. And then I could just say Happy New Year to you because I'm seeing, I'm not seeing you. I mean, that Since was last this. year. Absolutely, last year. good to yeah. see you. Good to see you. <laughs> Thank well, we'll you. see that most people, you know, say they venture into network marketing because of um, lack of jobs and maybe just to have something on the side. But you studied law. Why network marketing now? <laughs> I studied law. Yes. So I'm a lawyer by education. Mm. However, I didn't practice law. So what I did was after law school, I went, I returned back to the UK and I retrained as a business consultant and change manager. And I was contracting for different blue chip companies. And after several years, that's where I met uh, my love for network marketing. And what it was, it was the product that actually drew me in. It wasn't, I didn't know anything about network marketing at the time. So I saw this product that I really liked and I felt that it was going to change a lot of people's lives. And, uh, you know, I just went for it. It was it's a long journey, but I went for it and I haven't looked back since then. Okay, what, Very what, what stuck out for you in, in that uh, product? <laughs> a product that can take you down three dress sizes in 10 minutes is a product that anybody, okay, yeah. <laughs> that anybody should use. The body magic. All right, so uh, the, the industry is quite you know, misunderstood. Yes. You know, yes. Can you yes. differentiate between uh, multi-level marketing and a pyramid uh, scheme? Yes, um, they're miles apart. Okay. Now, a pyramid scheme is where a company fraudulently um, recruits people, in, um, an increasing number of investors, with the promise that they will receive a huge return on investment. Now, really and truthfully, it's just a fraudulent company. All they're doing is robbing Peter to pay Paul. Yeah, so at the end of the day, it will all come crashing down and loads of people are going to lose money. Network marketing, on the other hand, is the fastest form of distribution in the world, which Chimeze has rightly said. Now, what it is, I'll just explain it in layman's terms. Network marketing can be dis uh, described as, you're the manufacturer, then I come and I buy from you. And I bring my friends, I like the product that I buy, and I bring my friends, I refer them to buy from you as well. They buy and then you give me a commission based on the monetary value of that product. Right. You understand? Right. So it's always tied to a sale mm. with network marketing. Now, I can explain it further. I go to the market. I have a crayfish, maybe someone that sells crayfish. And I like her crayfish. I buy from her all the time. And it's tasty, good quality. And then I refer my friends to buy crayfish from the market. And the lady, the... Uh, from owner the market of the crayfish. or a particular, you know, individual? From, from a particular individual in mm -hmm. the market. That's what I'm saying. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's just an example. <laughs> yeah. It's just an example so you understand. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so then the lady, the owner of the crayfish, the seller, now gives me a commission based on the quantity or the monetary value of the crayfish that my friends buy. Mm. And we do it all the time with our tailors. You know, we go to watch a movie. Oh, okay. she may go and watch that movie. But no. for instance, sorry. Okay. For, for instance, ahead. now you, you see this product. You like it. You believe, you know, it's a great product. And it turns out to be bad. Mm. I've never made that mistake. And, <laughs> but, you know, but that could happen, that you know. It could happen. It could happen. It could happen. But there's so many other things that you have to look at. How long has the company been in business? Mm. Number one. Uh, you have to look at the compensation plan. You have to look at the products, make sure they're effective. First, use the product on yourself. So, you know, most times if it works for you, then you'll be passionate enough to go and start talking to other people about the products, you know. And you can give loads of companies, uh, give you samples, so you can give samples free to people to try, you know, so that they can come back and give you a testimonial. So that's the way to negate that issue that you just spoke about. Okay. But most times... Most times with network marketing, the products 
the consumer, the ones I've been with, the products are effective. And the, and the market no. will be sued. Yeah, no, I mean, we, our, our, our country. <laughs> oh, well, mm. Sorry. a market will be sued. Yeah. I've never heard of a market being sued, but the company can the be company. sued. The company, the network marketing company can be sued. Okay. There are some that have been sued in the past. Now, you know, we have a peculiar situation here in our country, the rate of unemployment, and uh, we have a lot of um, job seekers out there. Poverty, you know, our poverty rate is on the rise. Yes. Now, do you see uh, this kind of business, you know, as a panacea, you know, to this problem? Actually alleviate people from poverty. To alleviate I think poverty. so, very much so. And I'll tell you why. The, there are a lot of reasons why network marketing is the future. First and foremost, it, the ease of entry. So you don't even have to go to school. You don't need any qualification. All you need is to be above the age of 18 and have a phone, maybe have data on that phone. You also, the risk, there's a low startup uh, cost involved, which, you know, most, mostly everybody can afford to start their own network marketing business, as opposed to the traditional business where you need loads and loads and loads of money. A lot of companies, well, some companies, some companies pay in dollars, so look for the ones that pay in dollars, so to speak. Why? Because, because of the devalue, Why? because of the devaluing okay. of the Naira. Hmm. The Naira is devaluing every day. You have to look for something that pays you in another currency to sustain yourself. Now, that, that's, um, I mean, uh, that's kind of um, tricky here, or will I say that's the issue here? And that brings me you know, to my question. Some of the challenges, um, this, um, we're talking about creating jobs. We're mm -hmm. talking about um, the youths looking for something else while waiting to uh, perhaps get a white collar job. Perhaps you mm -hmm. can do something you know, by the side. And then some of these companies that support um, this kind of network, um, you know, marketing, and then the issue of the foreign exchange that we are talking about, where you have to buy a product, and then it doesn't even, you can't get value for it. Hmm. If the product is effective, there's value there. Hmm. The thing is, the biggest industry in network marketing, and I guess in the world, is the health and wellness industry. Okay. Now, because people need the products, some, some for weight loss, some people are not well, they need the product, they want to take, you know, the alternative method as opposed to the orthodox method. I mean, it's a choice. So, most times, the products are affordable. It's enough for you to buy and resell on for a profit. Now, the profit might not be that much. It might be a little bit of profit. But the money in network marketing is when you build a team. That's where the money is. So you're building a team of people. You're impacting lives. You're helping people, you know, change, get that financial freedom that they've been looking for for years. And that's what it does. I wouldn't say network marketing should be a side hustle. It's that kind of mentality that is making people just say, okay, let me just try or let me just put some money in and let me just see how it goes. And people also have to understand that with network marketing, you have to do the work. You can't... Put Sit your back. money. It's not MMM. You can't put your <laughs> money there. It's true. You can't just put your money there and wait for it to mature. It's not going to work like that. You have to put in the work. The more work you put in, the more you succeed. But at the end of the day, you're, the, you're your own boss. You can make money from anywhere you are in the world, you know? And you can, you're your own boss, so you're only limited by your own imagination. I mean, people make loads of money in network marketing, you know? It's life-changing. Okay, well, um, a few years ago, I was always uh, pitched, you know, one network marketing business or the other, but I've noticed that this time, I've not really heard anything about... Let me I've pitch. not been pitched. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm, I'm wondering, you know, what, what's the climb looking like right now? Network yeah. marketing is still there. In fact, in fact, the companies, the network marketing companies, uh, have even made so much more money, especially during this pandemic, where nobody's going out, everybody's working from home, you have your phone, you can make money from wherever you are, people go into your website, the company sends the products to, you know, whichever country, I mean... Someone can buy something from your website okay. and the person lives in America, the company will send it to them, you know? So it's very, um, 
this, this is the time, actually. There's a lot of momentum around network marketing companies. Maybe you've shut all the people off so they maybe, don't come to you I anymore. <laughs> <laughs> they don't come to you anymore. No, <laughs> They're I, tired. Yeah. So but are, are there support you think um, the government can actually offer some of the network marketing companies in a situation we have set ourselves, you know, perhaps to support you know, them so that can, that, that sh there can be some kind of ripple effect if we're yes. talking about job creation. Here. Yes, right. definitely. So mm. the government can, because the startup costs are, are very, you know, low startup costs and with the ease of entry, the government can support people to join a network marketing company because that's all you need to do. Just buy the products for them and then they sell. They become marketers. But the thing is, people look down on that. They don't want to market the product. They don't want to do this. They don't want to do that. That's the reason why a lot of people don't go into network marketing. But the government can help. Churches can come together as well and do the same thing. Because once you, it's, it's um, wealth creation. That's what it is. If you take it seriously, you will get the dividends from it. So. Tell us about your successes in this uh, business and uh, your outlook for the industry. My successes, okay. Um, anybody heard of the body magic? <laughs> you heard of the body magic? <laughs> 2009, while I was working, after a while I got tired of my job, I was dissatisfied. And I decided that I wanted to be able to make money anywhere I was in the world. Mm. So I started going for forex trading in the city. So I'll work, and then in the evenings, I'll go for forex trading. I was the only black person and the only woman. Anyway, after about a few months, I got tired of it. I decided, look, you know what? This is not for me, and this is not the vehicle that is going to take me to where I want to be. Then I went on holiday to America, and some people were talking about garments. And I was like, what's this? You know, they were talking about this garment that does this and that, like magic. <laughs> so, and, then, and what intrigued me further was, the, the amount of money that they were talking about associated with the garments and with this, all these products, I was like, but how can somebody make all this money with this? Anyway, we went for the meeting. And when we went to the meeting, um, I was sold. I saw the garments and everything, and I was so, sold. I wore it, and it took me down, you know, gives, gave you, gives you all the curves and everything. And um, I wanted to do the business, and they refused. So they, they told me I wasn't living in America, so I couldn't do it. I didn't have an NI, and I didn't have a house there, so I couldn't do the business in, in, Amer in the UK. They said because they're not expanding to the UK. So it took me four months of knocking on the doors of the CEOs. I went back to London. I downloaded every single person who was affiliated with that company. And I started bombarding them, blasting them, telephone messages, leaving messages and all that. But it took four months of doing that consistently. But I didn't give up. Because, because yeah, it's a matter of um, determination. Yeah, I, I, I was guess. very determined. I didn't give up. So eventually, I got to speak to the CEOs. And they did say, OK, you can do the business in the UK. However, we're not going to ship to you directly. So you have to have someone whose house it can go to in America. And then they will be responsible. So you're going to be responsible for getting your own goods. That's what they were saying to me. And OK, I agreed, of course. And I quickly went to work, built a team. And that team and I were able to open other countries, about 16 other countries. I'm sure you've heard of the Body Magic and how successful it was. It changed lives, and people made a lot of money. All that is the Body Magic. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's um, interesting. And um, well, I don't know, with the economic situation here in the country, just wondering how, you know, um, any young person will really have the patience to go through. Yeah, it takes a know, lot of patience. All of, all of oh, that. I was determined, don't worry. <laughs> oh, yeah, it's a matter of determination, <laughs> actually. And perhaps was, that's, uh, and that's uh, what um, the young people will probably have to learn, you know, mm -hmm. determination mm. and steadfastness exactly. yeah. in whatever you do. Absolutely. All right, thank you very much, uh, Lamir, for sharing your time thank today. You. Thank you very much for thank having you. me. I'm so happy to be here. You know, I'm always happy. To it's be a here. pleasure. So.